Good morning. It's a beautiful day here on the homestead. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jack with J&J Legacy Homestead. Today, we're going to do some upgrades to our chicken and rabbit tractors. We're going to add some wheels, make them a little easier to move around, uh, help out my wife and my daughters do the chores while I'm at work. And also on this rabbit tractor, it's pretty big. It's a five by 10. We're going to split this top door. I made one big door with the roof panels on it. It's a little heavy. So as you can see, we're probably going to split it like right, right here. We'll add another support here. We'll split it. We'll add some hinges, uh, a couple kickstands to keep it open just to help out the ladies. And who am I kidding? Help me out. Cause that thing's pretty heavy. I'm gonna do a couple time lapses with this. I'm gonna do a couple short clips of me making up the legs. We're gonna do like this lever system where, you know, the wheel is mounted to a separate two by four, uh, bolted at one end to the tractor, and then you push it down, it lifts it up, and it kind of locks into a pin or like a bolt. So that's what we're gonna do there. And uh, follow along, it's gonna be a fun one. All right, so I'm just going to go through some of the supplies I picked up. Pretty simple stuff. I got a couple scrap 2x4s. They're roughly four foot long. I got some cheap wheels from Harbor Freight. Uh, just some, I don't know, they were like $5.99 or something a piece at uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, they're just lawnmower wheels. And then uh, miscellaneous bolts nuts washers all that fun stuff first thing i'm going to do is rip down this two by four i have here for the rabbit tractor to uh, split that door and we'll go from there so follow along Well, that was stupid. Not once, not twice, but three times I ran into an old nail on this board. Lesson for everybody out there. Check your reused lumber for fasteners before you start cutting. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is these wheels. Got these two boards, they're four foot or so. I'm just going to cut them in half. Um, kind of explanation of what we're going to do. I'm going to take these wheels. Mount them probably roughly around here. Or maybe on this end I'll show you. We'll mount them roughly here with a carriage bolt. And then we'll put a bolt here. Through here into the tractor. And then this end move freely so you could step on this end it'll use the wheel as a fulcrum and lift the tractor up and then we'll have some sort of bolt or something where you move this down and it just rests on top or underneath of a bolt right here um, I've seen a couple designs on the YouTube that did a similar thing so we're gonna try it out All right, so just a quick rundown. I cut a little angle on this, so it'll be easier to lock in. You don't have to lift it as high. But I don't know if you can see how that works. So essentially, this will be bolted into the tractor. When this side isn't engaged, there'll be another bolt just sticking out like this just to hold that on this side when that when that side isn't engaged the wheel will sit like this with the arm up and then when you want to move the tractor you step on you step on this end 
push this up and that will lift the tractor up just enough and then this side will lock into a pin so we'll see how that works might have to leave a little bit of play in this bolt here just so this kind of will have a room to like swing around underneath of the bolt so we'll see how it works Need one going both each way, so opposites. an extra set of nuts on here as a lock nut. All right, that should be it. Should be ready to put these on. Let's go over to the tractor. All right, I got all my stuff over here. Uh, I gotta cut out a little section of this roofing because it's a standing seam, so it has a really high lip on it. So I gotta cut a section out here. So the wheels are on. See them there. Jennifer has joined me to help me out here. <laughs> Next, we're gonna uh, cut this uh, top door in half, make it a little easier, put some extra braces in it, and and then we'll give you a little preview of how this thing works and how much easier it is to move now. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put a new support in here next to this one, so we can cut the, the uh, hardware cloth doors.
the mesh. Cool, watch your fingers. So we uh, did our upgrades, we uh, cut the doors. Make it a little easier for Mama to move things around. <laughs> and uh, we'll show you the wheels real quick. Much easier. <laughs> Think so? All right, cool. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great day. God bless. And God bless.